So I thought I'd 3D print myself out a uh, knee mill adapter so I could use my screwdriver to run my knee up and down. And uh, initially I came up with, with this guy here and this was a test for a test fit. So I printed it with a lightweight infill and I right off the bat I crushed the, the hex here with the uh, chuck on the cordless screwdriver. And I was looking at it and you know this was a pretty ugly unit and then this was obviously seemed to be a weak point for me here so I uh, printed out this one here and I thought I'd get a little bit more style points on this but in all reality this one's pretty ugly too and for some reason on 100% infill um, my layers are pretty ugly but that's a pretty solid dense unit here so um, put this in our screwdriver Crush it with the chuck, which is good. Well, I think that'll work pretty good, but um, still seems a little bit ugly to me and seems like kind of a weak point here, so. Uh, so I came up with this one here, and this one uh, you have two options. You can either run an inch and a quarter, um, inch and a quarter socket on there, or a three-eighths inch drive. And uh, we'll start with the three-eighths three -eighth inch drive. This prevents you from crushing any plastic with the chuck and uh, a weak point there, but the weak point might still be the hex or the square inside of that. So that'll work too. Um, I don't think that'll fail, depending on what the what the infill you do. This is actually a 90% infill, so it's not as solid as the 100% infill. And then, so I have myself a inch and a quarter socket, and I don't have a hex to half inch drive, but I do have an adapter. So we'll try this out. I think this theoretically would be the strongest because you have the most surface um, for, you know, if this was to rip out, you had to, you'd have to basically make this hex round. Downfall to this is all the stick out here with your, uh, your screw gun. So, uh, still hex, so I think it'll work. Um, I don't believe this will work in a bridge port. So after I filmed this, I went and watched Mr. Pete's uh, shop tips number 203 and 204 called uh, Tubal Cane Makes a Crank Adapter for the Bridge Port. And um, I used all the dimensions in his video to model one for the bridge port uh, with all the similar similar uh, aspects of an inch and a quarter outside hex and then a three eighths inch square shank. And um, something that he did in his video that, or with his version that I thought was pretty good was he pinned a piece of half inch hex stock. So I gave, um, the option as well to press fit a piece of half half inch hex stock in there and since Mr. Pete invented this 40 years ago we we added the 222 on there just for him so if anybody has a bridge port and interested in that um, these will be on my Thingiverse I don't know uh, if it will fit and I don't know if it will work because I don't I can't try one so um, but the options there and uh, so for me, 3D printing has become kind of a source to make parts that I don't have the capabilities to make out of metal currently. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start calling them 3D Thursdays. So with that, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.
So I printed this one in 100% infill, and uh, it kind of pushed all my layers out, and the, the dimensions aren't quite right. So I'm going to go ahead and bore it out with this goofy boring bar setup. 